Uh, John Lipsky, welcome to WPC TV. You're a very distinguished economist and now at uh, Johns Hopkins University, SAIS, in, in the Baltimore. Um, and previously, of course, at the IMF. Now, tell me, uh, you have a new president coming. What will be the economic effects of a Trump regime that you foresee? Oh, wouldn't it be nice if everyone knew for sure, but we don't. Uh, certainly, he's expressed in the campaign certain preferences. Uh, there is at least on paper uh, the outlines of an economic program. Uh, he hasn't named his top officials yet, and of course he has to work with Congress. I think there is a consensus that there will be some initiative to increase infrastructure spending. There will Which be- Which you would approve? Well, it, it, let's, let's see. Yeah. In principle, it could be good, but it, uh, in, Infrastructure, uh, just because you call something an investment and spend a lot of money on it doesn't make it productive, so yeah. it, you need to look at the, at the details. The, uh, the U.S. economy is not doing so badly, unemployment 4.9 percent. Growth could probably be a bit faster, but productivity growth needs to be a bit faster too. So it's not immediately obvious uh, that there's a big initiative needed in that direction, but he also has, President-elect Trump, has indicated uh, a seriousness about tax reform, mm -hmm. which is something that has been discussed and is certainly needed uh, in the U.S. And if this results in an unblocking of a, of a reform that has been frozen, uh, that's a hopeful sign. You mean profits held overseas which aren't being repatriated? Well, that's only a small part of, in general, the distortions that have been introduced by the corporate tax, by the details of the corporate tax rate. The U.S. has a very high uh, corporate tax rate, and as a result, there's been a proliferation of all kinds of special, uh, special treatment that effectively lowers the, the rate, but complicates and distorts the, and the economy. Is there an instinct of protectionism um, within the, the Trump administration that you foresee, and does it worry? Well, you certainly talked about uh, trying to renegotiate what he considers unfair trade deals, but the specifics have been lacking and these things are not simple. Uh, and in trade deals, especially one, for example, as complex as the uh, North American Free Trade Agreement, uh, th that there's a lot of, uh, this. De everything depends on everything. In other words, nothing's agreed until everything's agreed. So if you start moving sure. little bits, then you'll find other bits starting to move. So this may be difficult. Now, John, you're often at this conference each year. Uh, what do you get from it? Oh, it's uh, very, I, from someone based in the U.S., it's uh, very interesting and refreshing to hear all the viewpoints, uh, and especially European viewpoints, of current events. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's an excellent, uh, excellent opportunity. Excellent. And as the Chinese say, we are living in interesting We're times. We're in very interesting times, and very interesting times for Europe in particular, Absolutely. with some structural changes uh, underway, with the shock of Brexit, uh, the round of elections coming up, uh, and the challenges, uh, the geopolitical challenges to Europe as well as economic. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, this is a, there's certainly a lot to talk about John here. John thank you so much for being with us. Happy to.